Hi, my name is Mike Hayton, orthopedic hand and wrist surgeon from Wrightington Hospital in the United Kingdom. I'd like to share with you Mark Garcia Elias' published approach to the uh, volar scaphoid, uh, the so-called ligament splitting approach. It's particularly useful for uh, scaphoid non-unions uh, through the waist, uh, where a significant humpback deformity can be corrected, and this approach uh, facilitates closure of the capsule um, through a VY type configuration. Traditional approach um, is a longitudinal incision through the capsule and it's often difficult to uh, close uh, the, the capsule uh, after correcting such a deformity. So a longitudinal incision is made along the line of FCR tendon curved distally towards the trapezium and blunt dissection is performed through the subcutaneous fat. Um, the FCR tendon is identified and its sheath is incised. Uh, distally the thena muscles can be elevated and uh, incised uh, transversely. There's often a vessel in this uh, distal portion of the uh, wound which can be safely diathermid. Once FCR is identified, it is retracted in an ulnar direction and the uh, subsheath is incised longitudinally. The subcutaneous fat is then uh, dissected off the uh, underlying pronator quadratus and volar wrist capsule. Uh, the volar wrist capsule uh, is uh, clearly identified and the uh, Volar extrinsic ligaments uh, run in an oblique direction and this forms the uh, basis of the ligament splitting approach. The uh, distal transverse limb is along the ST joint. It then curves uh, around the scaphoid tubercle and then obliquely towards the radial styloid, uh, splitting the uh, longitudinal extrinsic ligaments. Uh, the incision is then uh, performed along the line of the uh, radial metaphysis and two flaps can now be uh, elevated off the volar aspect of the wrist joint exposing the whole uh, volar aspect of the scaphoid. This gives an unparalleled view of the scaphoid. Once surgery is performed, uh, bone graft or simple fixation, the two flaps can then be reapproximated. However, often in uh, non-union work as mentioned earlier, uh, these two flaps uh, may not be able to come together and with longitudinal incisions it's very difficult to close the capsule. Whereas this approach, uh, the two flaps can be uh, lengthened on each other in a VY type configuration, almost sliding along each other uh, through the um, obliquely orientated uh, fibres, as in this case. I've been using this approach now for the last three or four years and have found no particular problems with it and would uh, thoroughly recommend it for a volar approach to the scaphoid, particularly for non-union work. Thank you for your attention.